Thank you, Nate. In the spirit of the season, we want to introduce you to some high school students who have gone above and beyond to help others. They picked a charity and focused their attention on raising a lot of money. And as you're about to see, the class project just may be the most memorable lesson of the school year. ABC 4's Brian McElhatton has that story. Clearfield, let me hear your Falcon pride! At Clearfield High School, Falcons! spirit is in the air. Falcons! This isn't a big game they're excited about. Probably about seven months yeah. is how long it's taken us to plan it and put together. But it's just as big. I believe it's been going on since 2003, so I think this was the 20th year of Falcons are Fabulous. Emotional, even. Lots of tears, lots of screaming, <laughs> lots of excitement. Because together, these students picked a charity. We chose PARC. It stands for Pioneer Adult Rehabilitation Center, and it helps um, those with disabilities find um, jobs throughout the community and also gives them a place to go so that they can um, enjoy social activities and put in the time to raise money in clever ways. Throughout the week we do a lot of different mini fundraisers that add up to become Falcons are Fabulous is what we call it. We always say every penny counts. Um, penny Wars we raised about fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars um, mm -hmm. Lip syncs over, I would guess, over $10,000. A penny here, a few bucks over there. These smallest of gestures can be big asks depending on where you live. We're one of the lower income zip code schools. So when the fundraising was over, the counting began. A simple hope, a Christmas wish to reach their goal. It was like 50,000 and... It was about $51,000. Yeah, $51,000. But it didn't stop there. Like yards in a football game, the numbers added up. It's, it's insane. Amazing. Yeah, it's I crazy. Did, did. It was crazy, but the counting continued. And then it became clear that Clearfield scored quite an upset in this game. An all-time record, in fact. Oh, yeah. 98000 $70. Yeah. 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 <laughs> $98,000. Big money raised in very small amounts. But that wasn't the end of it. This being high school and all, there's still a lesson here. If I had to say anything to anyone, it would be like find those people in your community that could use your help and find ways to help them. How's that for spirit? <laughs> That was Brian McElhatton reporting there. Just a great group of kids. Zoo Lights is back for its 17th year featuring thousands of lights and the Zoo Lights will only be around until the 30th at Utah's Hogle Zoo. And while most of the habitats are closed during this time, zoo officials say this evening's event gives you a whole new perspective of the zoo. It's a great time to come out and explore the zoo after hours. Like I said, you won't see animals tonight, but it's a great time to just come and explore the beautiful grounds. So tickets range in price from $9 to $15, depending on your age and if you have a membership at the zoo. Next week is also the last week of the $5 Wild Weekdays, where you can visit the zoo for just 5 bucks during the day. That's Monday through Friday. And Snowbird 